Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I actually wasn't even gonna vlog today, but I also didn't even vlog yesterday. I went out, I hung with my mom, but I also filmed and posted three TikToks, which I'll show you guys right here, but not without the sound because I don't wanna get copyrighted. And to the reaction channels who are reacting, I don't want them to get copyrighted either because that would suck for all of us now, wouldn't it? Anyways, I've just been having like so much fun on the good old TikTok. I do go through phases where I stop posting on there and then I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my Cameo again. I haven't done Cameo, I don't know, I feel like it's been like over a year and I still have it in my description. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want to, uh, have me do which i love doing it but for some reason it takes so much energy because i want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying for me to speak to you so when i realized i like was starting to go through like a depression i just like turned my cameo off and i was like you know what i need to take a step back because i don't want to be all like depressed in my cameos because it just it didn't add up for me and then ever since then like i have not started it again so i'm thinking about it i hear you guys and i know it's greatly requested Oh yeah. Oh yes, please. To take two soups and the sour one. Okay, so two containers for the soup and one for the salad. Salad and the bread Okay, you guys, so right now I'm currently at the Walmart. I'm actually in the toy aisle because I'm gonna get a toy for my step niece and nephew because I'm gonna go see them today. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I know she really likes to color because I colored with her last time. So I'm probably gonna get her like a new coloring book, maybe markers, probably not markers. I think she likes colored pencils, so I'll do that. Okay, so instead of getting like a standard coloring book, I found these scribble scrubbies. You literally get to use the markers on these cute little animals and then you can like clean it off and redo it. Color and clean adorable little pets. That is perfect. So I'm also gonna get her a few coloring books and this really cool twist up neon bright colored pencil. Hello, hello. Okay, so. We have a taste test, folks. I hope that you're buckled up and ready because this is truly something I've been wanting to try for like a minute now. So this girly pop is about to try it. So, so it's freeze dried, like sour gummy worms and then freeze dried peach rings. Y'all, this whole bag, 150 calories. If you don't believe me, look there, 150 calories. Like what? Okay, so the first one I'm gonna be trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna love the texture. All right, I love a peach ring in real life, so I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any different because it's literally a peach ring just freeze dried. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! That is sweet. What the heck? What? 10 out of 10. Okay, now the summer gummy, the summer gummy worms, sour, not summer. Like, what am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> Me trying to get a thumbnail. All right, let's try it. Whoa, these are very sweet. Not as sweet as the peach rings, but still very, 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 very sweet. The texture is heaven. This is true ASMR. <laughs> See, eating them like this, you eat way less calories because they're just so strong. I've literally sat here and only had two of these. And if I had like real gummy worms, I would have already had like 10. Your girl recommends. 
Hello, hello. Well, I was gonna say welcome to a new vlog, but I'm pretty sure this is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this, but hello. I actually have not put on my lipstick yet, so I need to go do that. But today I am spending the day with my mom and my grandma. So we are currently at the casino. I'm excited. I haven't been in a hot minute, but we all wanted to go today. So we're like, let's do it. My hair is frizzy today. I added none of my little like frizzy sprays. So don't mind that. I will say the temperature today is perfect. I think it's like in the high 60s. It just feels so good. I've been trying to light one of these guys up for the last forever. Okay, I won $29.50. I almost ran the grand. I almost won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> is it filming? Uh, is it? I don't know. I think so. Do I need to push it? No, oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. My mom just won. How much was it? 60. 60 doll hairs. <laughs> Good job. I just won $64. Woo! Well, I actually was not going to tell you this at all, but I have been off track the last couple of days. And the reason why I wasn't going to tell you is be just because like, I feel like there's so much judgment. Like I have been doing really good and still people are judging so hard. I have lost a good chunk of weight in my opinion my body feels that way like my brain feels that way my soul feels that way like i feel like it's been a really good sorry there's like lint cat hair and everything else anyways i feel like i've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far in 2024 when i said you know i'm gonna get on track i'm gonna do this thing i said i wanted to lose 100 pounds this year and so far like I am on the path to doing so. Like, even though I've been doing really good, it's just like still there's so much judgment and it's making it like hard for me to want to like vocalize moments like this where I feel vulnerable and I know that I have done not the greatest and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it. But it's like so hard to do because there's backlash for me being human and making mistakes and not being perfect. As someone who has struggled with food for a majority of their life, I'm literally 33, like it's gonna happen. Like I'm gonna be making mistakes. And I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of like processed foods. It was definitely out of like my routine, the things that I have been buying for myself. Like it wasn't like part of the routine that I've been having. Like I have been eating a lot of the same foods every single day and that's truly helped me so much stay on track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me feel a little too good. Like sometimes foods like give me a high. If you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater, then you guys understand that. And I really wanna try to stay away from foods that like give me that feeling and sucks to say Trader Joe's is not for me or not for me currently. It's like, I just feel super swollen. I just have not been doing very good the last couple of days. It's like, I went to Olive Garden the other day with my mom, which is totally fine because I have been allowing myself to eat at restaurants. But during a day where I'm on track, I'm able to like fit that into my calories. And I'm able to do really good. But the Olive Garden day I was an off track day and I tried. I woke up, I said, you know what? Back to counting my calories. And Olive Garden was my first meal. And I was like, okay, I got this, I got this. And then like, I was tracking my food while I was there, I was fine. But then later at night, I overate. I don't expect myself to be perfect. I definitely don't at all, never have been, never will be. But coming on here and admitting this is really hard because I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna say that I've given up, which I haven't. They're gonna say they've expected this, which, okay, fine. I try really hard to film for the people who are like genuinely here to like watch me. But right now in the back of my brain, I have a lot of like the rude bullying and harassing, just like beating at me in there. And I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Like I want to be more vulnerable with you guys. And I want to open up with you guys like I used to. Like so many people reach out to me and they say they miss that side of me. But whenever I do it, it's just, I feel like another wall gets added right in front of the wall that was already up because people are just like too harsh. The good news is though, I did go grocery shopping today at my normal grocery store. I got the normal foods that I have been eating and I'm gonna start again tomorrow, back on my same old path here. And my goal was to stay below 2000 calories, but like 
Also, another part of me is like so mad at myself where I'm like, I want to stay below 1700 now. It's just like, that's like a, <laughs> that's getting in like a problematic area. It's like me wanting to punish myself for having a couple or a few days of not counting calories. That's not okay. I have even been taught that by multiple weight loss doctors or when I was going to the outpatient, like you are not supposed to punish yourself in that way. But like my brain is telling me, well, you've done really bad and you really wanna lose these 100 pounds this year. And if you can, you can do more by lowering your calories to 1700. Like, it's just like this like thing in my brain. And like, these are things that like, I would just normally would just jot down in my journal and very much focus in on there and not share this out loud. But I feel like I haven't really been that transparent in my current 2024 weight loss journey. I've kind of just been like, yeah, I'm on track, you guys. Like, here's the food I'm eating. This is how many calories I'm having. This is how much weight I lost, da, da, da. But like, I kind of want to go like a little bit deeper, dig a little deeper and people are going to hate me regardless. So it is what it is. <laughs> like, I just need to like, just truly try my very hardest to like take out the trash and focus on the wonderful people who are watching me. And I love you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. So vulnerability is for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.